down for the square tubing actually. I'm just going to use the round stops and the uh, L bracket here to uh, just get that perfect square, which is it's doing exactly what it needs to do. And uh, also I'll use the adjuster magnet to keep on the inside, which that works really well too. And I'll also use the inserted clamps just to hold it down from any warping, which is uh, very useful. So as you can see, it just makes a perfect square when the line straight up to uh, the stops. And then so then it's getting ready to weld. That's how I'm going to make it stay. So all I'm going to do is just do two little tacks right here just to hold it together. All right, so I'm just basically doing the same exact thing. And I'm also using the right angle bracket for the ball lock bolt with the studs and I'll use the magnet as well with the inserted clamps again. I really like the, how the magnet has the on and off switch. Just because it, you know, if, you like, if you're working with magnets, it's kind of a pain when they're sticking together. But uh, if you just have the on and off switch, it's just really easy to detach. Alright, so by using all these fixtures, you're, you're losing about an inch and a half off the table. So, what you gotta do is, you can add more plates to this table. I'm gonna use these riser blocks here. They'll just bolt on just like this on each side. And you can lay your plate, your extra plate on top of this so you can get that extra extra length that you need on the table. So I'll go ahead and do that now. Adding that extra plate gives you another eight inches to work with. Right, so basically, I'm just copying exactly what I did on the other side. I'm just adding these uh, stops, and then I'm adding the magnet as well to the out bracket. So now, since the frame is ready to be welded, I'm going to clamp it down on all four corners and weld it. That way, there won't be any warp because you'd be holding it flat down to the table. All right, now since everything's clamped down, held tight, it's ready to be welded. Now since it's welded, you're gonna let it cool, let every, all the metal set in place, and then attach it when it's ready. All right, to weld the support bars in, I'm gonna use the inserted clamp with a ratchet on it now, so I can ratchet it down. Right where I need it so it holds it really tight. For the center support bar, I'm going to use the adjusto magnet to hold these in place and make sure it's square with the on and off switch. And to hold the center bar down to prevent it from warping, warping I'm going to use the table mount C clamps. And you adjust it from the back. 